I don't know if any of you have been reading the news recently. I did. Reading that the old telegraph tells the truth. And yes, it was talking about a new scheme that the, um, the government has brought in. It's really to help people like me. I think it's wonderful. It's, if you're living in a condo, an apartment block, like I do, I have a lovely penthouse with the sea view. You really should come. Although, maybe, depends who you are, really. But the idea, of course, is that I am living on this, in this lovely building, but some of these apartments within the block aren't quite as nice as mine, so therefore less expensive, and therefore the class of people are maybe not quite as lovely as me, not as wearing as nice a suit. For example, there was a man who... Oh, from the council, I, I could tell because of his suit and he all he always wears his badge to work and I don't like that. It's it makes me uneasy sharing a lift with someone who'd wear a badge to work before he's in work. I find that very disturbing. But this new scheme means that he now uh, he ent enters in a different different way into the building. So it means I don't have to see him, which is very nice for me. Having him there before was really like going to a lovely restaurant and going to the bathroom and it being a bit smelly, I think. it's So it's a great improvement and I'm very happy. The problem is, of course, it doesn't go quite far enough. I wish we could never have to see these poor people, really. It's, it's very unpleasant. I was recently at a conference in uh, Las Vegas and I met a CEO, lovely lovely American chap, and he was telling me he has his own lovely building, a lovely house in um, Napa, Napa Vineyards and wine, and he said that, yes, he really, he hates poor people as much as me, and we had a good old, a good old drink and laugh about that. But he said to me, he said, what he does, he sits on his porch with his shotgun, because he's American, so they're allowed guns. And uh, when he sees poor people, he fires bullets at them, and sometimes he gets them. I don't know how he disposes of the bodies, or if it's just limbs that he takes as rewards, I don't know. But it's a good story. I, 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 we've kept in contact. Very nice. But yes, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tough old... Uh, tough old thing, seeing these poor people in my building. Now they have these two, the separate door, it does help, but the man from the council yesterday came in through my entrance. I was absolutely horrified, as you can imagine. I nearly screamed like, like a girl, I was so scared, but thankfully he realized his error, turned back around sheepishly and left. But what if he hadn't left? Then what? He'd be lingering in my side of the building, accessing my pool that I pay for, that he doesn't pay for. Where does it end? So I suggested at the, at the apartment board meeting just yesterday that maybe we should consider the approach that the CEO I met had. They thought shotguns may be too far, but some sort of deterrent might be good, maybe a fox trap, something like that, really to make them realize that it's not good being in our side of the building. Yes, he wouldn't go back in the wrong door again, would he, doing that?